Where is it? Oh no. I buried it. The Vegas Golden Knights win. <laughs> Uh, in the shootout, that's why I was laughing. Three to two against the Dallas Stars, and Jesse Granger is the first defending cup champion to start their season 4-0-0 in 25 years. You know, we'll see if we get to five. But game four of the regular season already got me looking like this because, ha, it is currently 1.30 a.m. <laughs> it, it felt like a playoff game. That was so intense. It was a lot of fun. And even though the Vegas Golden Knights trailed for most of this game, it felt like at least. They had most of the good chances. Let, let's get into it. Goalie battle. Aiden Hill. Fantastic. Otter, fantastic. <laughs> Not great for us, but in the regular season, he's been like extremely good. I I, I don't know what else to say. Uh, another thing from the first period, a bunch of awful misses. I'm a theme of the game. Awful misses, wide open nets, just shots going wide the entire game. Uh, in, in this first period, it was Michael Amadio, which is just the widest open net miss. I'd like to say that I would have scored there, but instead, really, the reality of that is Michael Amadio made me feel seen as a hockey player. No, I was like, yeah, no, that, that sounds about right. You make a me a so Amadio. And in the back of your mind, you're like, okay, Vegas loses this, then that, that's there, that's there. Second period, Ben versus Haig. Oh, like, I guess Battle of the Four Teens, but I was not expecting this fight, and Ben looked like he went after Haig, because he didn't want a piece of Keegs, I guess. But that is three fights in the first four games for the Vegas Golden Knights. <laughs> it would become four. Carrier decides to see what it's like to ride an otter, and uh, that leads on the other end of the ice. A Smith scoring in T-Mobile Arena. <laughs> Ooh, Craig Smith, no relation, I think, makes it one nothing for Dallas, and it was just a really good play from him, from Dallas in general. Honestly, like, the plays this entire game from both sides were really, really good. It, it, like, these are two of the best teams in the league, and I see them as being the top of the West. There was a, an extremely questionable call on Paul Cotter, which... I wouldn't normally be talking about because because refs, you know, all of that stuff, you know, but however, there was a two-on-one for Vegas going in front of that play. It looked like he just finished a check. It was, the puck was still there because he just played it. Instead of the two-on-one for Vegas, there was a power play for Dallas, which Vegas kills. Vegas has been killing penalties super well all season, dating back to the series against Dallas in the conference finals last year. But it's just grievous, grie grievous? General Kenobi. But that exact play had been happening multiple times throughout the game and they weren't calling interference penalties then. Just all I want is consistency. Like if it's gonna be called there, it should be called in other places. If it's not gonna be called in other places, it shouldn't be called that, just consistency. But we're human, I get it. It's just that that, that one was particularly rough. However, it doesn't matter because Second time this season, the first NHL goal from a Vegas D-man, Caden Korzak. What a beautiful snipe from that dude to make it tie game 1-1. One, one. Like, ah, uh, just left behind by Cotter and he rips this thing. It was so, just beautiful. Like, and it's at this point where I'm like, oh yeah, we're doing everything that we've been doing, missing half of our starting Defenseman. Petro's been out for the last two games because of the shot that he took from Haig. And then also we're missing Martinez and White Cloud. Pahal and Korzak have done really, really well so far, especially Braden Pahal. Like, I have been really impressed by his game over the course of the four games. McNabb, Haig, Hutton, Theodore, Korzak, and Pahal. Uh, just the weirdest hodgepodge of d but it's working. And they're all pulling their weight, next man in mentality, and they're doing it fantastically. The rest of the second, Otter had a few more amazing, Ottinger had a few more amazing saves, including on a three on one, just, and a five on three penalty that lasted a minute and a half because Vegas historically has never been good on those, but I was hoping a new season might change it around. It hasn't. Our power play has still been pretty bad, but apparently it doesn't need to be in order for, it doesn't need to be good in order for you to win the Stanley Cup, so. <laughs> Including Stevenson missing on a completely open net. Like, it goes off the bar, and so it's a little bit more excusable than the Amadio from the first, but like, I just, the amount of a wide open net misses. Period three, Pavelski gets the puck off of a draw and snipes it. <laughs> Off of Stone Skate and uh, I think it was McNabb uh, who was setting a screen for Aiden Hill and just 
<clears throat> this is the first time in the season the biggest is trailed is in this game from when the one nothing and then the two one from Pavelski. Not 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 the biggest fan. And then Stevie missed again. I just uh, time is winding down. Pressure is mounting, but not for the cool as a cucumber Vegas Golden Knights because <laughs> Stone so, uh, weird weird line that Bruce Cassidy yeah a plus for sending this out. I think it was Stone Stevenson and Wild Wild Bill Stone to Korzak slaps his thing and. William Carlson with a perfect deflection to make it go past Ottinger to make it tie game 2-2 with like uh, barely any time left. It was like two, three minutes left. Like 2.59 to be exact. Well, effing one for this season from Wild Bill. And unfortunately it didn't come against the Arizona Coyotes, but you know, I, I'm okay with that. Tie game. Overtime. <laughs> Overtime! Yeah. Which I, 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 Vegas has had three of the last four games against the Dallas Stars in the regular season, go to the shootout, and they have lost each and every single one of those. The one from two years ago was a huge game in deciding whether or not we were gonna make the playoffs and get it because they were the other team getting in over us. But And so I'm thinking, all right, overtime has gotta be it. And uh, there were uh, good chances for both sides. Aiden Hill and Ottinger both made spectacular saves in overtime. And I love goalies, so this was like great hockey. I love it. The three on three in general is just been, like, I, it's fun, it's thrilling. <laughs> I'm then feeling this way in game fours of the regular season. It was just a bunch of up and down craziness from Eichel with the two on one with Theo. Theo sent it a little bit too far into Otter instead of the open net, but and then Eichel was completely gassed, but it's okay because it led to the face-off. Theo made this incredible save uh, several times, defensive stops, just back checking and making sure he was there to disrupt the play, and Wyatt Johnston. Marshy with an opportunity where he kept like waiting to see like, oh, is, 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 Robert, is, is Robo gonna come with me? And he did, and he made a really, really good defensive stop, Robertson did, so that was really good. I love the player. And then Theo again with a poke check, and eventually we just go to the shootout. I'm like, oh, okay, so 3-0-1 is not bad, you know, no losses in regulation. First round, Eichel. Just try to outweigh Otter too long. Does enable is unable to. Otter makes a save. He can't squeak it through that little little space that there were there was. Robertson, <laughs> the other way, <laughs> and it's off the pipe uh, and out. So it's you know tied going into the second round. Theodore skates up and he pulls a different move, and it was really really fun. And he nets it. So it's yay Vegas scores in the shootout. And then Duche just immediately comes and just slides this in five hole. It was a, it was a good shot. Hill, I don't think, was ready for it. And so we're going in around three. Marshy streams up, and I can just, it goes in, and he snipes it, and it, and I just hear in the back of my head, the MVP, MVP. Rupe hints. Fantastic goal scorer for the Dallas Stars. He's coming in the other way. I'm like, yeah, of course, this is gonna go seven rounds. That's a typical Vegas Golden Knight shootout, right? Hence, makes it go off the post and out. And like, Hill had to do a double take to make sure it didn't go in. And yes, the Vegas Golden Knights win in the shootout against the Dallas Stars. It is not a fever dream, it is reality. Just a really fun game. And we got to have it in game four, the regular season, after the Western Conference Final. I didn't feel like we were gonna win this before this game. I don't know why I felt that way. It wasn't because I didn't have hope I just was it felt like that kind of a day for me toilet flooded AC broke had to worry about all but it, we're fixed it's good at least we don't have people out there trying to just break people's necks but it's progress from there and in case you think I'm being salty or something about that what on earth would I have to be salty about thanks Golden Knights win um 4 0 and 0 82 0 and 0 still alive that's fun Fun. fun. Hockey is so much fun. And I am only going to feel like I regret this decision tomorrow when I have to wake up. <laughs> Honestly, Dallas Stars are one of my favorite teams to watch in the West because uh, they're kind of like Vegas in some of the ways uh, with them being a hard-hitting team, knows how to forecheck check really well, their offense and their goalie situation is pretty good. And it's, uh, I love several players on the team, Jason Robertson, Miro Heiskanen, and <laughs> Ottinger. They're, they're really, really fun players. And I am looking forward to, I think, them being a rival now with two conference championship playoff, again, head-to-heads, in their history in the last four years. But that definitely, it feels more like, oh, there was another fight in this game. We're, we have four fights in the first four games and two of them were tonight against the Stars. These teams do not like each other and it leads to great hockey. So thank you, new rival Dallas Stars. 
uh, maybe the Sharks, when they used a star in their profile picture on their actual Twitter feed last season, jumping on the bandwagon of another NHL team, which makes complete sense. Maybe they passed that baton on to you guys, because, I mean, be honest, outside of that one series from 2019, not really anything going on in a rivalry sense against the Sharks. Anyways, it's going to be it for Game 4's nightly review. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good night. <laughs>